Japanese haven't bothered the scores yet. Two games, nil 52 and nil 40. So they're really uh, in trouble. Here is Paulo Duarte, the referee for this one. It's the third or is it his fourth game today? And in the heat, that's uh, tough going. Let's have a look at the equation. France must win to extend their hopes of qualifying for the cup. Yeah. The others in the pool are Australia. My mistake. Uh, the others are South Africa and England who play next. And that's a playoff game, so a good win here for France. We'll see if they can edge in as the second qualifier for the cup. But they've got to do the business here in front of them. And it's against the Japanese team, which uh, starts well, seems to start well, plays with a lot of pride, but it all seems to go critically wrong at vital times in the game. Tony Nakambula there. Maintaining possession here. You see number three for the Japanese team. That's Kameli Soijima, and he's a good one. Here is Katsuyuki Sakai. And now it's a good run by Nakambula. Soijima, two players of Pacific extraction. Oishi. Balls kicked away. Will they maintain possession? Coming across is Siosifa Lisala, and he's kept it in play. Coach Damien Corona and his assistant Stephen Mills. Stephen Milne be interesting to see this. It's possibly part of the big plan to try to move the bigger, older French team around. No stoppage in the game yet. Sakai. Look at this from Japan. Lisala, 40 meters out. Penalty for Japan. They keep it going. No stop yet. They keep it very going with their best runner, Sojima. But alas, for the Japanese hopes, it ends right there. Oh, that's a heartbreak for the Japanese team here, Keith. 11 passes completed. The only thing they didn't do was come away with points. You can see a lot of hands on hit for this French team already having to make a number of tackles. But it just shows you where their headspace is in when they got a sniff for the cup round. They pushed for everything. Down the number of players too are France. Yeah, yeah. Captain Pierre Gilly's lucky fear the last game went out with an ankle complaint. Coming to a line out near halfway, there's the captain of the, the Japan team, Tai Ozawa, with that uh, unique advantage in that he favours. Yeah. Tackles completed now 14 by the French. But they had the ball this time. And Popolan. Away to the midfield and Mazwe. Oh, determined running with great defense by Johnny Nakambula and Japan are going to run it back. Hard running from with their heels against their goal line. Hashino. He's number 10. Nakambula. Sojima's waiting in the middle of the field. Might have been just ahead of the man there, but it's okay. That one bounced off a heel of one of the French players, I'm pretty sure. Hachino wasn't sure, but now Sakai is. Sakai scores one that delights the fans. Well, they look a totally different team when they play with nothing to lose this Japanese outfit. They've done it before. The French team just can't get their hands on the boys. You see there, they're all keen, the Japanese. Initially, I thought he was going to go the corner, decides to stop this Hasino, and it's the right move as well. The last pass out to the former captain, Sakai, who says, Dumbo Arigato, thank you very much. That's good, Carl. Dumbo Arigato. Very good. Thank you so much 
for the conversion as well. Seven to nil. They are playing out of their skins at the moment. Can they keep it up? Playing with a real load of Tora Tora. There we go. Sakai, all time points leader for Japan. So integral to this unit. The Sakai, all the experience. Of the squad of 12, four went to the Rio Olympic Games. So it really looks nothing like the Rio squad, except that at the Rio they suddenly sparked into action. Tremendous fervor, and they played their way into the bronze medal match. Now, if they can collectively find that same fervor here with this group of 12, for a start, look out, France. The French team don't look very urgent either. Thank you. That's a worrying sign for me. Okay, they're trying this one now. That's just Jean Pascal Barak, number six, presents it. And it's moved on now to Jeremy Icardi. You see him wearing number 13, which means he was initially. Uh, the extra player who just had to wait in the grandstand but with injuries he's come into the tournament and so they're trying to do a japan and run the ball back at their opponents this guy's good jonathan logel and now we get a chance to look at sasha Balo. an interception by sojima and look at that uh, one-handed pass into open country and the bounce is kind. Here's Hashino. With him is Lisala. Great spirit in this game from both teams. 7-0 to Japan. Just seconds to go till the end of the half. Then time has raced by. Hard running here by Nakambula. Sojima. Ozawa. Beautiful run by Sojima, and Sojima is going to go away. Are you serious? They can't be the bottom team in the comp. They're playing like they're the top of Mount Fuji. Well, they're playing spoiler in this game, that's for sure. Here's the captain, Dai Ozawa, doing some outstanding work. Great offload too to Sojima, who has been absolutely everywhere on day one for this Japanese side. Draws them the last two defenders. And look at that, just the awareness to know where the support player is. Sojima didn't even say anything, but just a peripheral vision. Dials are up, brilliant. Flags waving again after the conversion. Flies high and true. And so half time is reached with Japan. All Japan, they call them in sporting terms, leading France by 14 to nil. Been at least as the second half begins, and it's kicked away to begin by Kosuki Hashino. And let's see what France can do with the ball in their hands in the second half. Two brilliant tries by Sakai and Sojima for Japan with the conversions excellently taken 14 to nil Sakai dashed in and dashed out again Sasha hello six the ball is there the ball is available the ball is available referee is Paulo Duarte from Portugal Kind of ran towards the referee there. And here's a run by Pierre Popelin. And a nice wraparound pass. But look at that tackle come in. Camille Sojima, who scored the try. You don't get many going past him in defence. He is a block. Popelin, halfway line. The ball is at the feet of Icardi. And now he's trying a little cross kick to try to clear it away from the traffic. 
And it's with Barak. It's desperate from France. Fouissac, this big man who's come in for this tournament. And the one a week ago in Hong Kong. This is looking dangerous. And Akadi gets there. One back by the French. But it was a long struggle. They had to play uphill all the way. He has absolutely spent his Akadi. This is just the back end of the movement. Look at the desperation on his face getting his team back into this one. But well done by France. Finally, they string something together. They start playing as the team has all been too individualistic for the majority of this game. But that's a well-taken score, much needed for Leblanc. Handy conversion, means it's a seven-pointer two. So they're within one try strike now. And plenty of time to go. You see that up in the top left of your screen, four minutes and 23 seconds. A lot of these Frenchmen have had a lot of time on the tours, 30, 40, and 50 events. Builds in them uh, very much an awareness of time, time to go, not to get rattled just because they're on behind on the scoreboard. Restart. Down to... Oh, look at that. That's confidence, isn't it? From Makambula to Lisala. Still running with confidence, the Japanese team. Ozawa. Will they, tap, will they tap and go? Or will they, as their coach suggested, just cool it down? I think you can see that now. Yeah, slow the pace down here, Keith. Go to the set piece line out. Eat time off the clock. They're not the ones chasing the game. They've had to do a lot of tackling in the last couple of minutes. So fatigue will start setting in game three for these two teams. And he sends that one high into the crowd. And there he is, Kasuko Hashino. Big one two for Japan. Their go-to man, Kamele Soijima, who's crossed or done a lot of yards for his team, is actually off the park. So someone has to step up and replace him because this is where he is so good line out tight. Alexandre Lagarde is coming on. Now he's the real speedster. Get him out there with the headgear, number 12. He has got, he is a real speedster. If they can get the ball to him, it might be good night. Bonsoir, bonne nuit. Number two is on the field, in fact, Manuel Dalina. Jonathan Logel. These are guys who are vastly experienced, but it's down to three minutes, and they haven't closed that gap in the last minute and a bit. Barak, wild pass, loose Mazway. You won't be happy with that, the captain. Great defence there from Japan. They bananaed in and caused their turnover. They squeezed out Barak, cut down his options. And it was Dai Ozawa coming in and making it all crucial last tackle turnover. There he is there, the captain. Gave a nice pass with an assist. And then he causes a turnover in great position. Well, this French team just looks spent, to be honest. Keith, they look tired, they look fatigued. They're down with injuries, but this is where you earn your stripes in these types of situations. You just have to win to give yourself a chance at least. At the moment, Japan, inspirational. Just a reminder, Japan are 15th out of 15 on the tour. They have, uh, there is a real chance that they will be dismissed from the tour in the promotion relegation session, series. But look at the spirit they're playing here. Very good play by Lusala. Tatana is on the field. The French mean business here, that's Logel. But possession again with Japan. Switching play. Siosipa Lusala coming to the 22. Got out to his left, many players, the hands, the determination. 
the drive. Wait, 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 wait. The coolest head in there belongs to the referee who's going to ask upstairs to the TMO. Patrick's Stalin, it was the man who got over. I think anyway, it might have been a high tackle. Has the ball in the right hand. Is able to fend. A valiant attempt there by Barak, but look at that power shot by the number five for Japan. No doubt with that try. And the try is awarded to Patrick Stalin. He has links back to New Zealand. And that's a wonderful lead now for Japan. England will be clapping their hands, that's for sure. Because this is a huge upset in terms of this pull here, Keith. The upset continues with more points added. With the conversion flying over. And it is now 21 to 7 and just seconds remaining. Well, it just shows you the difference when they play as a team, this Japanese team. They did everything right in the first half in attack. They supported each other. They've got in great running lines. In defence, they've been outstanding. They've stayed connected. And they've listened to their coach, Damien Corona, slowed the tempo down, played smart and made smart decisions, and they're going to get a very famous win for them. They've got the ball from the kickoff. It looks like with just 40 seconds to go, they're going to play at the last seconds in possession, 21 to 7. And Nakambula, he's tough. Pushed away by Pashino. He goes again. Johnny Nakambula, whistle goes. But you know what? I don't mind that because look where France are. They're in their own 22. There's only 20 seconds left. So there's no way that France are going to win this game. The enthusiasm shown by the brave Bossoms. It's a good just near excellent. There's the big gong, Singapore gong it is, it signals the end of the game and still the defence of Japan kicks in, they're living up to their nickname of the Brave Blossoms with their 21-7 lead, France are coming back to them in this move but look at the little man Nakano goes through and now it's running out from Muzwe, bringing it up to halfway, the French are playing with great uh, Dignity to try to get something out of this, but look at the margin. Oh, they might get some of the last bit of the scoring action. And they do, but it's too little, too late. Alexis Palisson, who's the most accomplished player in the 15 aside game has raced in for their second try it's under the post the conversion has gone through and the final score is 21 to 14 and the little guys have beaten one of the big guys on tour japan from the bottom of the table beat france 